Here we are looking at a brand new Eclipse 324 seed cleaner. The 324 means that it has three 24 inch wide screens. This unit was manufactured in 2019. This unit is equipped with a single phase 115 volt motor. The serial number is 9991. One of the options of this unit is that it has two different commodity flow patterns. It can either be a scalp scalp sift or you can set it up to be a scalp split sift. Looking here at the hopper, this is your in-feed gate control. You adjust it here and lock it into position here. This chute here at the end is your top screen scalping discharge chute. Looking here at the side, the chute closest to the top can serve two different functions depending upon how your flow is set in your cleaner. If you are using the scalp scalp sift flow pattern, this will be your second screen scalpings, what stays on top of the second screen. If you are using the scalp split sift flow pattern, it will be the sifting. This bottom chute is for your bottom screen siftings discharge. This is what falls through the bottom screen in the seed cleaner. Looking here at the back of the seed cleaner, you have your light air liftings discharge, which will be coming out this entire width here. Below here is your heavy air settling chamber discharge chute. When you are cleaning seed, you would want to make sure that there's one or two good kernels in every handful that comes out of this chute so that you know you are getting as much impurities blown out as possible. Below is your clean seed discharge chute. This would be where all your clean seed comes out. You will neither either have the auger kit installed on this unit or you would need to raise it up and have some kind of collection underneath of it. This hole that has been pre-cut out below the spouts on this side of the unit would be if you purchase the auger kit and install it, it would come out this side here. Located at the top on each side of the unit are two adjustable air intake shutters. You would raise it to increase the air flowing through your commodity or lower it to decrease the air. And then you would lock it into position with your hand nut. It is important to note when purchasing this unit that from the factory power is brought to this switch box you have to purchase your own cord and tie it into the switch box so that you can plug it in to your outlet. I went ahead and took the time to label all the pans and uh, spreaders. Uh, they do not come labeled from the factory so it is important to note that and as you take the machine out to clean it or to change the flow pattern, it would be wise to label it so that you can get it put back together correctly. I took the time and labeled each one of these slots, pan slot, screen slot, for the convenience of the next customer when he goes to load and unload the machine. This is looking inside the shoe. I have the door lowered, it just hangs at the bottom when you're changing the screens or the flow pattern. I currently have this cleaner set up on the scalp scalp sift flow pattern. You can see up there where the grain would be coming out, it would be falling through this first screen and it would be falling onto the 50-50 spreader pan which is below the first screen. You leave this in with both flow patterns and then it would be falling through those holes and also through this pocket here at the end and it would be falling onto the second scalp screen and then it would fall from there onto the bottom sift screen and go into your air column for a blast of air before discharging. 
Here are the extra pieces that you would not need when you are set up in the scalp scalp sift flow pattern. These are for the scalp split sift flow pattern. This one it go, would go in the second screen slot. It would be the first one you slide in. This one also goes in the second screen slot. And it is the last in after you put the screen in. This goes in the second pan slot. It goes between the second and third screen. In the scalp split sift flow pattern, this would be catching the siftings that fall through the second screen. I am going to go over changing the flow pattern to the scalp split sift flow pattern. I'm going to start by removing the top screen. Even though you don't have to do this, it's better to do it because you can see what you're working with. And I'm also going to remove the 50-50 splitter. That will go back in. But again, it's just easier to see the second screen because we're going to have to take it out. The reason why I say that it is important to remove the top screen ball tray and 50-50 splitter when changing the flow is because it is important to make sure that the little lips at the end of the screens gets over on top of the pan there so that the door will shut properly. Okay, so now I have the cleaner set up on the scalp split sift flow pattern. The commodity would be discharging onto this first screen and then falling through onto the 50-50 splitter pan. Half of it would be falling into these little pockets and discharging onto the second sift screen. And then the other half would be falling over this edge and dropping down onto the third screen, which is the bottom sift screen. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start the unit. The manual talks about having this unit bolted down to a solid base. We're just demonstrating it today, so I have it still on the shipping pallet. Very nice seat cleaner. interested in purchasing the Eclipse 324 seed cleaner, please call us at Commodity Traders International for a quote. Our phone number is 217-235-4322 or visit us on the web at www.commoditytraders.biz.